still a reason why everyone does everything, why everyone makes any choice that they make in their life. And that's why you're here. Because there's, there's a reason why I do this talk show. There's a reason why I broke up with the last boyfriend or he broke up with me or whatever it may be. There's a reason for everything. In the audience right now is Sasha's boyfriend, Ian. And uh, where are you, Ian? Hi, Ian. Hello. So, Ian, how is it like having a, a, a porn star girlfriend, especially uh, being 18 years old? It's, it's different. It's progressive, you know. It it's forces, progressive? Yeah, it's, you know, how many relationships are you in where you get, uh, you know, STD tests every, you know, month, you know? I mean, I can't, when I was in college, I didn't do that, you know? So she gets an STD, you get an STD test every month? Every month, every 25 days. Have you ever got an STD from a scene? Yes, I have. You have? Mm -hmm. What STD did you get from a scene? I have gonorrhea. How did you get uh, gonorrhea? Just from a male partner yeah. in a scene? Yeah, it's going to be from somebody you work with. All right. And you, how old are you, 31? 31. You're 31 years old. And she's 18. That's correct, yes. Anything sound weird in that to you? No, I mean, of course, you know, the age difference, you know. We knew each other as friends before, you know. I am i didn't know she was going to choose this before, you know. But, you know, we built a strong relationship as friends, you know, mm -hmm. and... How does your family feel about you being with an 18-year-old porn star? They're fine, you know. I mean, as long as you're not hurting anybody... As so your family's okay with this? Yeah. Your mother is okay with this? Yeah. My mother's a very progressive woman. I mean... My mother's progressive, too, but if I was a porn star, she wouldn't be so happy with that. Yeah. Everyone's different. Everyone has their different opinions. Most definitely. Sasha's manager, Mark Spiegler, is with us in the audience. Did I say that right, Spiegler? Yes, ma'am. Hi, Mark. So, um, Sasha sought you out. To, to be her manager, to be her agent, right? Mm -hmm. And what is the impression that you, when she walked into your office, what did you see? Well, actually, first she emailed me, and then I spoke to her on the phone. And as you, uh, you can see, she's highly intelligent, very mature for her. When you say about the age difference, like, you know, age does not always make you know, a child or a woman. I mean, she's very mature for, if you spoke to her over the phone, you'd think she was 31 years old. But uh, I spoke to her, she seemed like this is what she wanted to do. Like she said, she, she not only researched like agents, but she watched the movies. This is really what she wanted to do. And, and I, she had sent me pictures and stuff. I said, well, if you look like the pictures and, and really, you know, do what you say you're gonna do and everything, you should, did what did really she, well. What did she say she was going to do? Well, she she sent me a list of what she was going to do, and she it was pretty much everything they do in this business. Sasha, what are your hopes for your future? Um, I would also like to direct in this business. Not only direct, I'd like to produce independent films. Mm -hmm. Independent pornography films? No. Independent? Just Mainstream, yeah. Okay. And what else? Do you want children? I want children. I want to travel the world. I want to see. I want to explore. I want to write. I want to, I want to live life. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope the best for you. Thank I you. really, really do. And I hope you sit down with yourself one day and really do some soul searching to really find out why you're in this industry. Oh, I know why I'm in here. But you haven't told me. I haven't really found a true reason, a deep soul reason. All this, oh, I want to save the world and all that and show sexual exploration. There's something deeper. I'll be right back. Okay. When we return, a 14-year-old prostitute exposes her secret life. If I'm going to get a regular job and make $6.50 an hour, then why can't I make $150 in five?